Hi everyone, today I'm back with another Journal With Me video in my Midori Regular Size Traveler's Notebook. And before I start, I'm gonna show you guys the previous spread that I did. And I really like the outcome of that spread, so I'm gonna be doing something similar today. So let's just start. I'm gonna choose a couple of vintage paper that I'm gonna use as a collage. Some of them are genuine vintage paper and some of them are those vintage-like paper that I bought from either Instagram or uh, local Shopee or my local journal supplier. Uh, this one here, this is a, a genuine vintage paper and the rest are those vintage-like paper. So I'm going to be using my favorite die from Elizabeth Craft Design and this is the one. So I'm going to be using this die to cut out the vintage paper that I've chose previously. And now I'm going to distress all these bits and pieces. The distress ink I use is from Tim Holtz and the color is Vintage Photo. And at first I'm going to be using the ink pad directly so that it can form a darker color on the edge. And after that I'll be going in with the blending tool. I know that I've seen this somewhere from YouTube but I can't remember who was it. So I'm very sorry about this but uh, definitely someone uh, did this before and I think it's a good idea to get a darker color on the edge of your paper or the, uh, the pages that you want to distress. And I'm going to be doing this to all the paper that I want to use as part of my collage. And before I put everything down, I'm gonna use this big, uh, huge stamp block that has this um, English handwritten sentences on them. So I'm gonna be using that to stamp down on the biggest piece of paper that I cut out as a background. Now this is the stem, uh, the huge stem block that I just mentioned. I like to use this to uh, form back to, to create background for paper that has no pattern on it. And now I'm going to be putting everything down with my glue stick. I'm sorry about the lighting here. I think I've, I'm too excited to record this journal with me that I forgot to turn on my autofocus. 
And here I'm just taking a piece of this vintage sticker that I got as a freebie and also this floral sticker to form part of the collage. And before I'm putting the vintage sticker down, I'm going to distress it like the rest of the vintage paper as well. And that oopsie there, um, it's, it's okay, I'm just gonna, uh, later on I'm just gonna use some stencil to stencil down some of the pattern and hopefully the oopsie won't be too obvious after that. And now I'm gonna be putting the vintage tickets down with my um, glue tape. And now the floral sticker. Next, I'm going to be using this very beautiful stamp from Lady F Illustration Studio, which is the Observation Tube Stamp Set, and is absolutely gorgeous. And I really really love this and the packaging is very pretty as well. So as you can see this is a new set that I recently got. And I'm gonna be using this glass light bottle as um, to stamp on my vellum paper. And now I'm just cutting the vellum paper into size. Now I'm going to be stamping that glass border down with my stays on jet black ink pad. This is a label not sticker, it's a label paper set that I got from uh, Lamb Papery and I'm going to be using it as part of the collage with, together with my vellum paper. And now I'll use the same lamp papery stamp to stamp down on this label label tickets. And I think it comes in a set if I'm not mistaken, the stamp. Not in a set as in the stamp actually goes with the label tickets. So uh, I think that's the reason I bought that ticket or that label set. And here I'm choosing some of this MU Lifestyle uh, is it MU Live Star? No, MU Live uh, transfer sticker that will go with the bottle. And I think I choose a white color floral pattern.
I really like the outcome of this to have the you know the flower inside the bottle and I think it's very very cute and very pretty and I think you're gonna be seeing me doing this more often in the future and I'm gonna be taking another lamp papery uh, stem to stem down the wording on top of the bottle And now I'm going to be uh, clipping that down with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. I'm sorry, it seems like my, vi my you know, the video is a bit low. Oh, I think I'm just too excited to do this spread that I didn't notice how my lighting is or even how my video is. Very sorry about this guy. So, Hopefully you guys will bear with me. Now it's a bit better. And next I'm going to be using a sticker dot and this classic donut sticker to stick down my vellum collage. After this, I'll be using more of this classic -y donut sticker uh, to form part of my collage. Next, I'm going to be doing this uh, something like a label label thingy. I'm not sure what this is called, but I really like the, 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 the look of it. So I'm going to be stamping down this number stamp that I got from Taobao. And it has this random number to something like, a, you know, the number you can see on receipt or invoices. And I really like this to so to create something like a ticket, and then this wording stamp as well. Now here comes my Sachihata ink pad. These are the one I recently bought and I think I'm gonna get two more. I really like the color and I really like the, the, the quality of this ink pad. That's my honest opinion, but the price is really a bit expensive for ink pads. Yeah. And now I'm going to stick that down on, on my top uh, right hand corner page to seem like it's hanging down from the page. And next I'm going to be creating another vintage ticket using the Scenic Nature stamp.
Now, even though I have tons of vintage tickets, I still like to buy uh, ticket stamp because you can create lots of pattern and background or even you know creating vellum paper vintage tickets using the ticket stamp like what I'm doing now and I really really like this and since it doesn't have a border so I just use my uh, sharpie pen to create a border for this stamp uh, for this ticket and before I put that down I'm going to be using this Tim Holtz uh, mini blueprint stamp I'm going to use the globe for the right side and the book, the stack of book for the right side. Uh, for the left side, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm, bit, I'm a bit incoherent here. Um, this video is a bit lengthy. I'm very sorry about that. I have so much elements to put on and yeah, but hopefully I hope that you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy setting it up. So this, uh, I use the Sachihata light brown color ink pad. Now they have a name for the color of that ink for the Sachihata ink pad, but it's all in Japanese and I can't really remember. Yep, so I just call it light brown, dark brown, <laughs> gray color, yep. And now the vellum paper tickets. Now to cover up that oopsie, I'm going to use this uh, Tim Holtz stencil that is my favorite one, the coffee stain to sort of put it around my pages so that the oopsie won't be too obvious. So now I'm going to be distressing the edge of my page. Again, I will go in with the impact directly first to get a darker tone and after this I'll be using the blending tool. And now here comes, no, not yet, <laughs> but after this, uh, I will stamp down the day and the date.
uh, for today, I'm going to be using this very cute uh, UWU Studio Alpha stamp that has seems like a round dot um, sticker thing, uh, sticker type. Yep. And I really, really like the outcome of this spread. Even though it's similar to the previous one, but yeah, I still like how it looks. And now I'm going to be journaling in my 26 November 2020. Well, that's it and I really hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy setting it up I really, really like this and I think I'm gonna have more of this pattern in my future spread as well but yeah I'm very sorry about the lighting and the autofocus and my babbling or <laughs> my silent and I hope you guys um, is staying safe staying positive and until I see you guys next time, do take care. And yeah, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching my video. And bye. Take care.